<laughs> and we're live. Right, Daniel, you're just going to have to tuck in. That's it. Good evening and welcome. It's Thursday, it's seven o'clock. And who have we got, did you say? Backstreet Boys. The Backstreet Boys. <laughs> we got the Backstreet Boys. Okay. Oh, is, is it more like, um, oh, Ronan Atkinson? What was Ronan, the? Ronan Keating. Yeah, yeah. What was the Irish band? Boy Zone. We got this. See, we got the Irish contingency with us. We've got quite a few um, of the UK on here tonight, haven't we? Yes, it's really weird. Uh, Tommy was just saying every week he kind of sits the other side of the screen, and tonight is actually. What are you doing down there? They're hiding. <laughs> Stand between Ian and Tommy, and then we can catch right. you in. Right. Tommy's okay. on the edge of the screen that way, but you're fine in between the two. That's Good evening and welcome. Um, I'll tell you what. Let you guys introduce yourselves, introduce your company. Who are you? Where are you from? I am Tommy, Tea Rate Decorators, and I'm from Hull, East Yorkshire. It sounds like a um, blind date, doesn't it? You know, it's just. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Daniel, <laughs> Top Spec Decorating in South Wales. I was going to say, if you can guess where he's from, you can win a prize, but, but yeah. But not really, no, Marty. Go on, next. <laughs> I'm Sean from Hall Sheffield, um, from the North East. Whereabouts? Chelsea Street. That means nothing to me. Give me a clue. <laughs> okay, Newcastle, that's what I'm looking for. Yeah. And Lee? Uh, Lee McGinley, LMG Building Services, um, based in Beckham, so just up the road. You're just up the road, so that doesn't really count. But it's got an Irish accent. Yeah, just confused, Matt. All his mouth, yeah. <laughs> so why are you guys here today? Video promo. Video promo. In all fairness, these, these are some of the guys that I believe are well ahead, of their cur well, well ahead of the curve for the simple fact that the time and the money that you've invested in yourselves is, is a lot of money. A full day's video in today, which has been really good, we'll come back to that in a sec. Um, three of you guys have driven down last night, stayed in a hotel, done today, staying in a hotel again tonight and driving back tomorrow. It's a lot of expense uh, and it's a lot of investment upon yourself. Uh, Lee, on the other hand, just, just rocks up, does his bit, and, <laughs> and leaves. Drives 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, tonight's sponsor is the lovely people at Ticarilla, as you can see from the box. And if any of you guys have had deliveries before, you'll be well used to looking like someone's actually tried to open it with a tin opener. <laughs> but I've been dealing with Ticarilla now for about four years. Uh, their packaging has got better. It, it, it just has. And every manufacturer we deal with and supplier... Distribution is one of their biggest things. Paint is one of the hardest things to actually post out. Trying to find, there aren't that many postal companies that will deal with paint, so trying to find one that does, coupled with trying to deal with boxes with paint inside, it's hard. Yep. So this isn't actually, we haven't actually opened this yet. Okay. She's, <laughs> she's smoking in the back. Shush, shush. Okay. This hasn't been opened yet, so we're actually going to open the box, see what we've got, and see what actually jumps out. How exciting is this? Oh, come on, guys, seriously. Well, I, hope, I, hope, <laughs> I hope it's exciting. I drove a two-hour round trip to go and pick it up. A two-hour round trip to pick up the paint because distribution got it wrong. Okay, first thing, we get a bill. That's good, like that. <laughs> Either that was a love letter from Ben. Oh. One, two, three. You were crossing kisses on text here. Yeah, we were, take, we were blowing kisses to each other. What's in the box? The new intact range. So, so this, the in this is something that we were looking at when we were in um, Scotland last week, wasn't it? Yep. So now we get to play with it. Well, the beauty is tonight we actually get to play with it. And these guys, I mean, it couldn't, couldn't go any better. We've been playing with all sorts of paint today. We've played with Caprol, played with uh, Farron Ball. We've played with some of the Ticarilla. So tonight we're actually going to put this to the test and it's, it's just, uh, don't get me wrong, there's loads of testing I've got to do with this yet, but it'd just be really good to get like first impressions, mm -hmm. see what you think. I, okay, so there's meant to be four tins in here, okay, looking at the statement, I'm sure there's meant to be four. Mm. For some reason, Ben, there's only three. Yeah, it's meant to be four. Okay, tell a lie. Ron Lins, what did we do? Well, you showed that when you turned the box around did to I? everybody earlier. Okay. What I actually did was... Cut a hole in the back, didn't you? Here's one I made earlier. 
I didn't understand a word of that. It's, it's been like this all day. It's great because the guys who actually done the video in, um, Ben and Simon, got every word, and that, that's all that counts. So what you're saying is it's just you? Yeah, yeah. it is. I'm, I'm terrible. I just, yeah. Okay, I've lifted the lid, okay? First impressions, I know what I was looking at. That's very white. Compared to the Helmi, I'm not saying, I've been spraying Helmi for a long time. That is really, really white. So as soon as I opened it, uh, I like the consistency. What I've done is, I don't like the fact that you open a tin and all you get is about a litre, well, about 100 mil in the bottom. It's a little bit, little bit curious as to that. But what have you done with the rest of it? What have I done with the rest of it? No, what have you done with the rest of it? <laughs> it's in a kettle down there, uh, already primed up, ready to spray. So the idea was, I wanted to obviously have a tin open. What we've got is, I've got to do this two ways tonight. I've got to do it to you guys, and I've also got to do it to the rest of them. Intact 40, okay? This is the professional range. Um, they don't particularly want to call it a professional range because as far as they're concerned, most of their paints are. Well, it kind of implies that the rest of the range isn't, doesn't it? Um, I've been using Helmi probably... In fact, I've been using Helmi longer than I've been Helmi, if that makes sense, because we were using it from a company in the Midlands, and it was called Feelings. Okay. And sometimes you guys would order, let's say, Helmi 10, and you'll get a tin with Feelings on it. Same product, just different branding. So I've been using it a long, long time. I did, uh, I've been doing kitchens with it for ages. We don't get callbacks. I'm happy with it. I get a lot of people saying to me, you know, I want to spray the kitchen in maybe Helmi. And I said, yep, I, I think it's fantastic. Personally, I like Helmi 10. I like the, the look of it. But some people say I'm going to lacquer over the top. That's fine. It's a doable thing. Um, I don't, personally. And the reason being is, shit happens at times. Okay, so you have to go back and touch up and have a little bit of remedial. It's mainly around the corners and things like that. It might just get damaged. If you start lacquering, it just becomes a harder process to repair. And I found the Helmi just touches in really, really well. So if you've got a little mess or something, you can flick over with a brush, although you've even sprayed it. You can't get away with obviously touching in on the middle of a door, but you can get away with a lot of a lot of touch-ups. So I think so. One of the questions that we've got here is, what's the paint's purpose? Is it the same as Helmi? And Ben's just answered one, saying it's way more durable than Helmi. I think it dries quicker. The curing time was something like seven days, wasn't it? Instead of seven oh. days, drying time. Uh, it's not the Acve, but it is quicker, I believe, than the Helmi. Yeah. We've we've done a couple of samples. One's outside drying. I only did it probably less than an hour ago and what I've also done is I've got a little tile as well because you know I like doing my tile scratch which we did today and you guys were pretty much blown away with the fact that what you need to do is get some tiles and you just got to do what we do just push it further I think the other I think Ben may obviously will be able to clarify but wasn't it it was easier to brush people are having issues with brushing helmet yeah apparently whereas this yeah. is uh, easier yeah. to brush yeah. as well Mm. So there's no opacity brushing it, I don't think. We said that from not, the beginning. Not, not that there's no opacity, but very much. You need to give it more. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, 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 is, it is. I mean, don't get me wrong, we used to use it for brushing kitchen. You know, we hand painted kitchens at times with it. And, <coughs> but we'd already been using water based systems. So actually, for us, I know what you're saying, but if you've come from oil to water, which obviously there's still that transition, um, we found that coming from other water-based systems to this one, oh, that was a big jump. So technically what we're looking for here is just another level because we've got Acve, okay? So we've got Acve Primer, Acve FD25, which is really good. That's a joinery shop product. We love that. Um, it's on bare wood, isn't it? Yeah. Then what we've got is we've got the Everill range, which again is not new, but new to some of us. You know, we've not, not used it all. Helmi, I use, one of my favourite products of all time is actually Helmi Primer. Everall's an interior and an exterior product though. Yeah. Uh, I, I, uh, woodwork. Uh, woodwork. Woodwork, yeah. The this one. Right right Pardon? The yellow one the um, book. You, you, there is no name. It comes with naan bread. That's all I say. Punjabi. <laughs> that's it. Punjabi, yeah, that's it. <laughs> it. It is the Helmi Punjabi bread, I think it is. So if Ben could actually pronounce it, it'd be hilarious, but he can't. He can spell it, but he can't pronounce it. <laughs> So we just say, can I have the Helmi Primer, the one that comes with an arm bread? 
Um, so Ben's saying it's got improved flow characteristics over Helmi, flows more like an oil, but it's 100% acrylic, um, based on enamel technology. So it's obviously it's harder then. He's reading that from a data sheet, you can Ben's tell. Ben's laughing at your comment. Excellent. Well, it's true. Every time I, you know, just, I love the Helmi primer. I like the Helmi primer because it's the one primer I've always used that gets me out of trouble. I don't particularly use Ortex Agba, and oh. I showed you guys why. Apparently it's pronounced, I'm going to get this wrong now, Poyamali. Oh, okay, so he's, oh. he's, he's done it short. Right, yeah. okay. I'm just going to do these two which we were talking about earlier. Um, no, that's not the one. Um, it's all in your, I doubt it's all in your head, Ben. You didn't know half of it last week. Oh, he just made it up. Just ask for how many primer. Yeah. Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. Okay. Yeah, it's far simpler. This is something that we were talking about earlier. Um, this is Helmi 10 that was done, what, last August time? So it's, it's 12 months, but that's, that's irrespective. You guys can't believe the adhesion of, of the paint without even a primer on tile. If you get under it, obviously it will scratch, and I've said this many, many times, but the actual scratch test over the top, you guys were kind of blown away with it. Yeah, puts, but the thing is, it puts um, faith puts faith into the fact that you, when you see it at this level and you consider the fact that I've got one primer, okay, and two top, generally over a wood substrate, that's got to be good. Yeah, and that, that's what the primer, as you say, on, on, that, on that To be fair, what's interesting as well is going back to that after a day and then after a week. Yeah. After a week, it's a hell of a lot harder, obviously, than... They're saying seven days. Most of the products that we found is three weeks. One of the other things as well that... I've got yeah, to do side by side. It does have a primer, the intact as well, doesn't it? Yeah, so it's got a primer as well. This is just a two top coat. Uh, we were waiting on the primer. I am very, very keen to try oh, the what, primer. 40 for the machine level? Yeah, yeah machine level. Isn't, wasn't there, a, am I mistaken, wasn't there a 25 as well, or is it only 8 and 40? I think it's 8 I'm, and 40. Is it? But what we will do is we will swatch pretty much the FD25, the Evril, the Helmi, all the way through, and then these. And we'll do them on smaller blocks. And what we'll do is we'll have them up on the rack in the academies. So technically, and not just these, but pretty much all the range, because you want to see what's white, white. You want to see what, what the sheen level is. Not the durability. You know, that, that's something altogether different. If, if it fails on durability, it's not necessarily the paint I'm talking about. Obviously, that would have a primer. So, but that, you guys just agreed earlier, it was just like, wow, you know, that's just, and I said, if you had these in your van, if anybody, because <coughs> he's a builder, <coughs> <laughs> he's actually, yeah, I've worked, I've worked with Lee for, for a few years now. The thing is, with it, um, having the faith in your, your systems and your products is what gives you the strength and gives you the edge against everybody else. When you come in and show that to a customer, and they're just like, oh, so that's all, no, that's just your top cut. I've got a primer and two undercoats, and all the prep and the scratch, and the cleaning and the degreasing to go over that. They're like, oh, okay. It just, it just cuts them off straight away. Mm. So, so we, this, this is only available, not only available, this is an eight and 40% sheen. And it is in, like Ben was saying, it's in the, the three litre and the nine litre tins as well, isn't it? Yep, yeah. so they call them tens. The reason they're nines is the tins are tens, but yeah. the product is nine because by the time you add the tint, okay, okay, you've got room for obviously shaking and actually doing the mixing. And also, we've not actually done this. It's a campaign that we're going to be working on. But there is an element of if the data sheet says five to ten percent, usually if you lift the, the lid and fill it up to the top, that's usually the right amount. Yeah, yeah. So it, it kind of does it for you. Yeah. We've yet to prove that right on certain brands. Yeah. yeah. Same as all the contracts. The contract marks. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it is. is. Yeah, they're all most. Of, they they don't do anything. Over I'll tell you what though. You say that Optiva. The beauty is what we can say isn't what they can say. Your Ben can Ben can only say what's on the data sheet. So when you're saying you open Optiva and we've got that much, when we're using it for miscut, I get sixty percent water in that. I ain't fitting it in that bit. Oh, wow. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, Optiva, Optiva um, 3 is mine. I like the ceramic. Optiva 3 is 3%. I prefer it to the 5. 
Okay, less sheen, but it is a ceramic. It is really, really hard wearing. And by far, and I've said this before, we've done um, like uh, demonstration days for Ben. And there's a bit there where you go through the, your wire light, the paint and everything else. One of the things for me, and I've always said, if I could only use Optiva for one reason and one reason only, or Ticarilla as a brand, is quite simply touch-up capability. I just find the touch-up capability is really, really good. What we're going to do is we're going to spray some of this in a minute. We're going to pull in the samples that we did. But the beauty is tonight, I'm, I'm not going to do the spraying. These boys are. So, then, so, for instance, so what um, is someone saying is when is it available? I think they're just sorting out all their stock levels and get, making sure all of their distributors have all got... Um, stock of it before it kind of goes live. Don't go, obviously get in touch and say you want it when it's ready, but to be honest with you, I've been given it and a few other select people have been given it. They want, they want the feedback first. So we're doing it live tonight, but I'm going to obviously do more testing as well behind the scenes. But what we're after tonight, which is really cool, is the fact that it's literally turned up. Lindsay drove two hours. Um, dedication. Mm, it is. True, yeah. de true yeah. dedication. So Credit yeah, to you, Lynn. I think it's launching within a couple of weeks, Ben was saying. Before. Yeah, so what we're going to do is you guys are going to spray it. Just give us a bit of a feel for it. I mean, you've all sprayed Ticarilla. Uh, you're all fans of Ticarilla. You've all sprayed probably Helmy at least. Mm -hmm. um, so it, it's how does it feel? It's, I'll look at the pressure on the gun. We're just going to use a 210 because <coughs> you've been using that today. They've been spraying tons of stuff. The doors got sprayed black, so that, that worked out really nice tonight. Black doors, white paint, happy days. So we'll see what the coverage is like. I think price-wise, Ben was chatting. Again, I think it's going to be similar to Helmy. We haven't got any prices for it yet. Ben. That's no, down to Ben, we... and to oh, be yeah, honest... Ben's just saying we'll pitch around Helmy money. There you go. So, yeah. But that also depends on your account. We, we've been talking about this in depth. I mean, yeah, you're but saying, whatever your account is, it's still going to be the same thing yeah, as Helmy. Yeah. Hel but what I'm saying is, what we don't like on the group is someone saying, oh, I got it for this and I got it for that. And you go, hang on, he spent four grand last month, he spent 400 quid. Yeah. Clear difference, because if I was spending four grand, yeah. I'd want to make sure I'm getting good prices. So, you know, it is, it is about that. And I am telling these guys to squeeze you, Ben, squeeze you. Okay? <laughs> Look after them, they're good boys. These guys in particular, because like I said, they've been... It's been a busy day. We are, we are missing one in the group though, aren't we, that was meant to be here tonight? Yes, we are. And a big, big, big love out to one of our team, because Reese is part of our team. Uh, you can do this one. Well, do you want to do the good, the bad and the ugly then? Yeah, the okay. Time? I'll do the good. Okay, the good is... Oh, you're gonna. Oh, honestly. Sorry, I was I was closing bits down. I wasn't. I was putting like good, this. the bad, and the ugly. You see what I mean? You guys think it's all me this side. <laughs> you see, you think it's all me this side, just messing it up. You see what I got to work with? Come back, Lindsay. <laughs> <laughs> so the right. the good is that we've. I mean, obviously, Reese will probably put some pictures or something up. So we have a baby McWilliams. Yep. So Reese uh, and Bobby uh, have had a little boy. Oh, uh, uh, a baby boy, Winston McWilliams. Well, mm, I don't think Bobby had quite agreed on the name. Oh, is she not? No, oh, I don't I, think I've so, just, no. I just floated that out there. <laughs> so, yeah, Reese, obviously a lot of you know him, he's a big, big ginger. Beardy, he's the big ginger Viking. Viking. Yeah. Um, he's been a bit quiet the last couple of days. They've literally just had a He baby. was literally due to be down here last night. Um, he phoned us yesterday or texted yesterday us yesterday. Yesterday morning to say that our waters had broken. So it was so. like, yep. Okay. Yeah. So there was meant to be five of the guys here today. In all fairness, it's been busy, even with four of you, to yeah. get through what we've got through. Mm -hmm. um, just to give you a recap of what we've been doing today, this is something that, I don't know, Paint Tech is, is always trying to kind of give a little bit more. Um, we floated the idea through the Paint Tech um, support group. These guys have all done training. So we, we floated the idea of actually pulling a very professional... Uh, videographer company so they do a lot of video promos for some big companies and the idea was to to find a way that was that was accessible and cost-effective to get you guys some good content that is kind of a good video to use within your business and uh, just get yourself pitching out whether it's on your website whether it's on social media and everything else we know for a fact that the kind of cost that you would be looking at individually is we spoke about this earlier Anywhere in the region, about two and a half, three, three and a half grand per person for, mm. for the same video. These guys, uh, we've all, these guys, not me because I didn't do the video, I just ran around like a nutter today setting everything up. So the guys have spare, bloody hell, 
paid 500 quid plus the hotels and everything else to get some really good content. They're really happy, they haven't even seen the end result yet. Mm -hmm. So they're getting the video, plus you're getting all the content as well to use through your social media. So it was a really good way of being able to kind of uh, facilitate that opportunity to do it. We will do it further at the moment. It's just only exclusive. Test. Yeah, just a test uh, this one, wasn't it? Yeah, it's only exclusive to the PTA support group at this moment because these guys know me, I know you. Uh, you guys have stepped up to the mark and invested in your business. So we've, we've over delivered today, but the guys have got to now do the editing. So a big shout out to both Ben and Simon. They've done a fantastic job today. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so what's our bad this week? All right, the bad is there was no show last week. Okay, so I don't know whether that counts for this week or last week. There was no show last week because Lindsay was literally necking the desperados like mad. <laughs> <laughs> we, we didn't have any Wi-Fi at the unit. That's either. what it was. We didn't have any Wi-Fi at the unit. In Scotland. I did say to Craig we might need to get internet in Scotland. Yeah, I must admit, we were kind of like two desperados down, and she went, oh my God, I forgot right. about the live show. It. <laughs> <laughs> it was Lindsay's birthday last, last Friday, so we went out Thursday night for her birthday. They had me working on my birthday. Yeah, so we were setting up the academy. The academy is almost there. The good news as well, well, I'm still on bad, but it's not, is all the courses in Scotland are pretty much full. So we've had a really good response. So we know we're doing something right, so that's fantastic. Um, Okay. The Ugly is, the next week's show is going to be live from Ibiza. Lindsay's going to do it on her own. <laughs> Lindsay's going to do the show on her own next week in Ibiza. Lindsay will be in an even worse state than she was last <laughs> Thursday. <laughs> Lindsay's off to Ibiza for one of the girlies' birthdays. Yeah. So these, they're all heading out. And I said Ian can run it by himself. I can, I've done live before. Do yeah, thanks for that, Dan. <laughs> so Daniel's like, yeah, I don't see why you yeah. can't do it. Easy. <laughs> So the ugly is the fact that we might not be able to run a show next week. And if we do, it'll be uh, like a one-man solo having a go. Oh. A bit like the old days, because some of you guys were actually commenting that you've seen it kind of start from me just sat in front of the computer to doing a few bits down here, me moving my lips and you not being able to hear a thing. Yeah. Oh, wow. Pete is actually saying next week's show is me. Oh, he's laughing after it, but... Yeah. <laughs> Pete. Okay. No, I'm putting it out there. Yeah, Next week's show is brought to you by Pete Wilkinson. Pete Wilkinson at the Preston Academy. Preston yeah. Academy, Pete. You can't, yeah, you can't, can't just, just sit at home. Up. You've got to do something at the Academy. You can't, yeah, you've got to do it now. That's it. You've put it out there on spray and make sense, Pete. Actually. But in all fairness, Tracy's full-time for the company now, so therefore she, she'd be well, there doing it. Not, not until... Well, Monday she starts. Yeah. No, it's next Monday. Is it? I next Monday. After. She comes on live next Monday. Oh. So that's it. You can retire. Can I? You can retire. I'll stay Tracy in will do the lot. I'll stay in Ibiza. Stay in Ibiza. <laughs> right, okay, that's enough chat. Yeah. Okay, good, bad, ugly. We've done about the demand marketing. Everything else. So we've, we've got a couple of prizes. Yeah. Do you want to do those? We've got a couple of prizes. So um, these are going to come out direct from Ticarilla Head Office in Edinburgh. So bundle one is you've got the nine litre tin of Octiva 5. Uh, Otex Akbar and Helmi 30 in the 2.7 litres. Keep talking, just keep it going. Um, you might want to turn your mic off if you pop into the loo though. Um, and then bundle two is t-shirts, I think, oh no that's not the right one. Bun oh my word, where's bundle two gone? There we are. We lost it. T-shirts and a Tritech tip as well. So, have we come up with any questions for the bundle? Oh no! Ben, you need to come up with a couple of questions for the Oh, bundles. yeah, we, we told him that earlier, didn't we? Did we? You're hiding behind the pictures, so... Okay. Um, um, so, Ben, you may want to come up with a question for bundle one and bundle two. Um, so, yeah. Let us know. <coughs> no, Pete, sorry. Oh, Tracy comes online Wednesday. Ah, so there you go. Plenty of time plenty to work of time. out Thursday, yeah. then. Sorted. Looking forward to having Tracy on board. Right. So what have we got? Okay. Um, in all fairness, these guys spread this earlier today, just for the video, just you know, for obviously some of the content. Um, so this is black eggshell, and then this was sprayed, like I say, about an hour ago. You can see it's still a little bit soft. You know, it's still it's still pulling in, but that's one coat of a black. That's pretty good opacity. 
We're getting lots of nods, that's good. Yeah. We're getting lots of nods. Yeah. Okay. I've just realised Ben's just put a, a question up. I was ready to answer it because I've got a, tin of it, a thingy of it here. Um, so the quest, first question for bundle one is, what's the name of our indoor cleaning solution? Oh, on a, and, and a bonus point if you can spell it. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and so bundle two is where are our growth centres located? Which yeah. one? Both. Well, oh, both. Yeah. The answer to, well, is there mul there's multiple, is there? T two. Is there only two? I think there's two. I think there's two. Oh, did they? Oh. oh. Ooh. Oh. Is it not? Oh, right. So we want all of the, the all of the pro centres. Okay. Can you see so, that, Liz? Yeah. So what have you got there? Okay. This is a board that you guys sprayed probably, I don't know, what, four hours, six hours ago, yeah. something like that. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's nice and dry. Uh, recoil time on something like this is four to six hours. Um, we did this about an hour ago. This is one cut of Intact 8, okay? okay. Which is, in my view, the eggshell. Um, I know some people call it flat. I, I, I prefer to just use the eggshell. The reason being is if you said flat to a customer, they'd be a little bit, ooh. Say eggshell, they've got that. Yeah. They've been dealing with eggshell as long as we have. So. Uh, satin obviously is is really nice. That's I'd be interested to see what the forty is like against it. Like I say, because I'm used mm. to thirty. Is it going to be a little bit? I don't know. It may be. But what I do find as well is I always tell my customers that the, the the product actually drops down after about three weeks. And to be honest with you, what you can actually do is if you're working on a job and you touch it in, you can usually see just a little bit of like sheen sheen flashing, but that that will just pull back in. Just give it time to set. So first question is um, durability, oh, sorry, opacity. We like it. So again, we're, we're pleased with the fact we've gone from <coughs> black to white in one so, cut. So what you're saying is that you sprayed that, the intact A over a black door the same as that? Yep. Right. All I did was give it a little sand down because obviously uh, you guys can see some of the, yeah. the MDF furring up. So all I did was knock it back with a little bit of 180 gold flake and then did it. There is a line down the middle, because I must have used this board previously to kind of do a bit of testing. Um, just, just have a feel. I think it's dry enough. Have a feel, see what the feel, I mean. I think, I think I like the, the feel of it for, for the fact that it's, it's an eight, an eggshell. It is quite, it's got a nice feel about it. Yeah. In all fairness, careful guys. I am kind of, I am kind of cheating here. So. Yeah, there you go. How? She's so nosy. <laughs> How did I cheat? Asking the right so questions. No. I have sanded it, but how did I cheat? When I say that's got one coat, what did I do? That, no. Something else. Okay, what's the difference of spraying between that and that? I load more up. In all fairness, you're, in a minute, these guys are going to spray the doors. Well, that's okay. even better then, because if you've loaded it up quite a lot and it still dries, yep. then that's pretty impressive. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's still, you can, in fact, it's you can, it's it is actually, it is actually, it's got a real, I'll be interested to see what that's like. Okay, this is my standard tile test. Okay, I need a pen on that before we start. This is, again, oh, look at you. My beautiful assistant. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, today, whenever you've gone, has anybody got, and yeah, Lee's got uh, it. Lee's like Nanny McPhee's got everything. <laughs> What's the date, do we know? Uh, 11th of July. I know, but what, what day, is that 7th? 7th, yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Same month of my anniversary, her birthday, my daughter's birthday, my mum's birthday. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you're doing well there. I'm doing you? really good, yeah. Okay. And it's 2019 in case you wanted that bit as well. Got that bit. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm just going to pass it round. Okay. I'm going to say now, chances are they're going to break through this. All right. This has Not only been, been just over an hour, maybe an hour and 20 minutes. But it's dry. Have a feel. Uh, firstly, you'll, you'll feel what it's like as far as the finish goes. It's going to do that again. You like that? All right. All right. Calm down. <laughs> <laughs> Give it a give it a yeah. thumb test. It's pretty good after an hour. Very good. And this this don't forget guys this isn't their primer this is just their top coat. 
Top cut. But you you know my. We, we yes. It, uh, yeah, that's welded on it. Right? You're happy with that? Welded, yeah. And that's only after an hour and a half. So all this is okay. This isn't testing uh, par se. This is first impressions. Mm -hmm. It's just first impressions. You know, does it get you <coughs> kind of thinking? Yeah. All right. I'll give this a whiz. Does it have? The edge on my existing system, which is, let's say, Helmy, don't know. But is it worth exploring? All right, who broke it? Someone broke Someone's it. Someone's got strong nails. Yeah. I like it. It's great. Tommy got blamed for everything today. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy's fault. Tommy's fault. Okay, and there you go. I was just nicking your pen. You can have it back. Thank you. Okay, cool. So, obviously, first impressions are good obliteration. Feels nice. I must admit, it does feel very nice. Um, this needs a bit of time to cure to see what it's like. First impressions on scratch test is very good. Yeah. Um, and again, very good coverage. That was literally just passing over. I pop and dug my nail into that. Oh, good. It's in. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Don't know, Ben. <laughs> maybe Ben, I don't know, maybe, maybe Ben said something. Maybe did he upset you? I don't know. No, no, he was no, just... No, no. I just wanted to see how much, how much I... Okay, right, what we're going to do is, um, I've got some of the gear, I might open the other tin, top it up, because I am pleased we've got two tins. I am interested to see, because it's four doors, you guys can have a go at spraying the doors. I've only got, I'm only putting a two tin, because I actually want to, I suppose, slow things down a little bit. Uh, we could put three tin, but I'm just going to use a two tin. I just want you to kind of give it a go, see what you think. Just first impressions, white over black. No pressure. You're only live in front of everybody, so if it cocks up, it can, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. If everything goes wrong, okay, don't forget, it's Tommy's fault. <laughs> okay. Um, grab your masks, um, and then what I'll do is we'll make a start on this. Because I usually do the spraying. It seems silly me doing the spraying when these guys could do it as well. Yeah. So it's the intact eight, isn't it, that we're going to be spraying? Yes. So intact eight. Uh, is the one that we're going to be doing. So there are quite a few. They, the, in, within the intact range, they do some lacquers as well, don't they? So they've got 10 and 30. I'm assuming that's the only ones on the lacquers. Um, so 10% and 30% sheen. So they'll be interesting to try as well. Didn't do the many check. Um, so that will be interesting against the Kiva. I'm assuming, Ben, that the intact range can be tinted the same as all the other products. I must admit, it's very white, so I'd be interested to see... Yeah, you did. That's the first thing that you said, wasn't it? It's a really bright white. But I don't know whether this is their white, this is their A base. It actually says white, so maybe... Right. Maybe it is a case of it is just their A base. So it'd be interesting, Ben. Can we literally get this in... All right, let's just go full monitor. Can we get it in black? Oh, because, yeah. you know... Here we go, we, we're spraying black doors. If I want to spray the black doors in intact eight, we have got a kitchen coming up, and this kitchen is a big kitchen. Um, it's in what colours they're running it in? Come here a minute. Um, Lee, just come here a sec. Okay. Lee, Lee's, the, where I'm just about to mention, Lee lives over that way. Okay, one of the most prestigious gator communities where you are, Farnborough Park. Yeah. You can't get in, I mean, it's got security everywhere. You have to go through all the barriers and everything else. We've got a kitchen to do in Farnborough Park for a customer of ours. It's a Christian's kitchen. Um, and we're going to be using this. And trust me, these customers are like... They are super. Yeah. I don't get any... I, this is me taking a real gamble on the faith of Ticarilla. Oh, see, so, see that? Judging mm. on what you... I've seen now, first impression of them, I think you're going to get on to Agreed, but I will do more testing yeah. before I actually turn up. But yeah, you're right. But I'm still going to do it. Ben says you can 100%. Okay, so Ben's picking up the cost if it all goes tits up. <laughs> what colour are they going with, though? Um, I, they'll probably go for just an off-white for the main units, and then they're going to go for, I would imagine, something, because Caroline's helping with the colour, so it'll be something quite impressive. So, we, so can we get it in black, Ben? Can we get it in dark colours? What are saying? Yes, you can, 100%. 100%. Oh, he's, he's, on, he's on it, isn't he? He's putting it right out there. 100%, absolutely. I'll guarantee your job, Ian. If it all goes wrong, I'll pick up the cost. 100%. 100%. Uh, okay. Not to scare you, it's nine and a half grand for this kitchen. Just to paint it. Yeah. No, it's not. No, it's not, but he, 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 he doesn't know that. I was going to say, it's not that big. I, I would cock it up for nine and a half grand. Yeah, it 
Well, yeah, do it twice for nine. <laughs> right, you guys, do you want to come back in, and then we could just take a choice of uh, who wants to actually do the spraying first. Okay. You have actually. Oh. See, Sean's been always been the guinea pig. He's always been first, and Tommy, like I said, just. Ben says he'll even come and paint it. <laughs> that ain't that desperate. <laughs> Okay. Um, right, what doors are we spraying first? The one you I don't mind. Uh, Sean, which is your door? Which is the one you cocked? I mean, which is the one you did earlier? The one with less runs. Okay, the one with the less runs, yeah. Okay. So we're going to do this one on the right hand side. Um, if you could please don your mask, because Jack is back in the country. And if you don't put your mask on, I swear, he will have you. So I'm not first again. Yes! <laughs> you just said that! You just you put yourself forward! Anyway, you oh. yeah. Okay, uh, if you want to try a couple of passes on the wall before you start, you're more than welcome. Um, and then just, just do it. Okay. There's no pressure, alright? <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? He's been spraying really well today. Okay, I've got that quite low. You can see, I won't call it tailing, it is a um, Ultra 210. Okay, but I've done it so that you guys can actually get a, you know, a fair idea of the, the spraying side. Uh, before you do it, check us my phone, I want to take a video of this. New trousers, Tommy, someone's just... Oh, no. Oh, no. Got to be done, hasn't it? Yeah. I must admit, if, we'll take a look at um, old Daniel's trousers. He's, got, he's right, copied he's got mine with the blue ones. His. He's logoed up. Can I just say, we're really mashing it up, aren't we? What have we got? So we've got a grey coat, um, PC... Start, at the, start, at, the, oh, right, start okay. at the beginning. So we've got... Running the Titan Impact 400, and then we've got the Graco Contract PC gun, then we've got Tritech Tip and Guard, as you do. Are you ready? Are you ready for this? <laughs> Mate, you're fine, go, go for, it. for it. And don't you start worrying about the spit. He's been freaking out a little bit about the, about the spit, so... Again, it's a small tip because we wanted to get multiple passes on it to get a real feel for the product. Oh, set him up to fail. <laughs> See, if this was if this was Pete's Academy and he did that on the floor, Pete would be freaking out about now. I'll, um, once we've done a couple of the doors, I will Zoom take in. the camera a bit closer. We've got a little bit of tailing going on there. Yeah. It is a slightly thicker product. In all fairness, I've set this up to try and spray low so we don't generate overspray because obviously we're all here. I haven't particularly got miles gone because I like talking. Do you now? I'd never have known. And first impressions. Is that it? Is that what we get from yeah. the good? In all fairness, what potentially what might happen is the mistake that happened. You've tried to get coverage, okay? Because it's, it, it's something that you just do when you've got white going on black. Naturally, yeah. you try and get coverage, so which you sure. it is. And you, 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 you shouldn't, but we do. So technically, if we get any runs, okay, it's Tommy's fault. But <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> and he got, he got some on here as well. Okay. Um, there, is, there is runs within this door that were from, not even from these guys, this was from one of the courses that we were doing the other week. I've just not had a chance to send them back. Um, these runs here aren't yours, they are clearly what's obviously there. Just first impressions are good. Okay, someone, who, whose door was this? Okay, so this is really good tonight. Uh, to be honest with you guys, Ben, it's just really good having the guys. Yeah. Am I biased? Even if I was, it won't make any difference. You've got four guys here. That, that's a fair question. Uh, 12, I would. Twelve hundred. Yeah, I was going to say about twelve. Uh, it's I'll a two ten, so there. I'm not. I'm not going to turn it up. We've got a little bit of tailing, but to be honest with you, first cut. Um, I 
think I'll be a faster on my own, the same. Try not to do much public, so. You do whatever you want, okay. okay? Do whatever you want, because the point is, there's no point me trying to, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Your, your, your system and your, your, the way you do stuff, yeah. okay? Oh, I will give you one little top tip. How do you paint behind the handle? Uh, normally I'm not, but... Uh, How would you do it? Just show me. Top tip here. I think I'll just go down. Okay. But you've got paint behind, look, look here. Mm. So how do we deal with that? Okay, Linos, so... Okay, oh, you've, got, you've got to get behind the handle, okay? <laughs> the easiest way, I'll, I'll do this bit for you. Okay, yeah, you could do that. Okay, or, easiest way, okay? Turn around, put your bum against the door. No, keep hold of that. It's still right-handed. Okay, put, put your, right, let me show you. What you do, is quite simply, I'm not gonna do it, just put your bum against the door, push down with your thumb, and come up the crook of your arm. Right. If you're right-handed and you've got to do a left-hand door, that's the way you do it. Clean, you stay clean and you get a really nice finish. So this is the Titan 400 that we're Bump. running. When I've done the, the two-day course down here with you, that was the only thing that I've gone on the On your thumb. Doing that bit. That's yeah. Do you want to clean your hand? There you go. Look at that, the service oh, we sorry, give. Bob. The service <laughs> we give. Go for it. Right, that does need turning up a bit then. Just turn it up a bit. A little bit of a blockage. That's not the paint, that's the fact that we've been using the machine all day. I have cleaned the filters, but I haven't cleaned the manifold. Okay, F come up and flick into that so you can kind of blend it. Are we good? Yeah, it's gone up to 1500. Okay, we'll see. Right. That's slightly better. It's a thicker product. You are going to find that we're going to have to play with the pressure till we get a sweet spot. Even, even, so, yeah. Are we okay for product? Yeah. Okay, cool. He's on fire today, isn't he? Yeah. It is. Got a little bit here, but then that, that again is, is the fact that we're just trying to get over it with the pressure. Yeah, that's flashing off. Right, these two. So you want to turn the camera a little bit, Lindsay? Yeah, so let's... Uh, oh, hang on one sec, guys. Are I'm you just, zooming in now? I'm Zoom on these to, two. Oh, yeah, they'll probably be easier to get to. Okay, fine. So this, like I say, is intact eight. I'll show you the tin again. Okay. Go on, carry on, as you were. You just roll with the punches. Just roll with the punches. I'd use a 310 as uh, a normal tip. to play with this product so obviously we would play with it a little bit more looking at tips looking at pressure looking at thinning obviously it depends on the time of year you might need some more paint in it in a bit uh, it might be all right i've also got to try this this through well different machines as well we were talking about that, weren't we, about trying it through HVLP and XVLP. Yeah, but actually time. just the other... Right, give it a sec. Yeah. So I think Ben was saying that the Intact Primer is very similar to Otex Aqua. Um, in what way? Adhesion? In terms of how it feels and... The viscosity. Yeah. I mean, I don't generally thin the, the woodwork oh, paints. That's good. Yeah. I don't think anybody knows I yet. Don't know. Turn, up, turn it up a, a bit, Liz. Turn it up a bit. You don't have to wait for it. Go on. No. Right, it's still tailing a little bit. Right, so I'm going to have to play. 
All right, either way, okay. I didn't want you getting your thumb dirty. Thank you. <laughs> That's so fine. It's a, oh, it's a spray only product. Oh, okay. I so thought it was. Uh, it's a spray only. To be honest with you, feeling with the viscosity, I understand what you're saying, but I'll, I would still brush her a little bit just to test it. Mm. Go for it, Lee. Right. So have you changed the tip it's now? It's a 310, yeah. So yeah. what, have you got 310 now? Yeah, it's just a 310. I've just turned it up a bit. It just combats some of that tailing, because the overlap will cover it. Quite a bit still though, isn't it? It is, but by the time we go across, you're going to be fine. Yeah. But the problem is we, we are generating a little bit of overspray. Yeah. Okay, sorry Jack. <laughs> right, the guy on camera, he's got his mask on. Did anyone see that photo of Reese in America? Yeah, it wasn't Reese. Jack's nephew, honestly, it looked identical to Reese. That's... That's a 310, that, that's coverage. Yeah. You've done that before. I'll tell you what, look at him. We've taught him to spray. Bloody hell, yeah. Tell you what, Pete. Got one of mine. I got one of, I got. Where did you do, you, did you, where did you do trim, here or? I've got, see, we got two of mine and two of yours. Okay. So let's see how far we can get. Whose is camera. this one? <laughs> okay, that's one of mine and that's one of mine. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, as it's drying, look, if you look at the other side. It's pulling in. It is pulling in. Oh, Tommy, you put a lot of runs on that, mate. So. No, they're underneath, bud. Obviously, it's yeah. hard to try and get this. Do you want me to oh, pull yeah, the laptop? Yeah, yeah, It is. It is. I mean, that I would just obviously, if that was the primer, we'd just thin that down a little bit and just, yeah, just get on. But look at the coverage on that. Yeah. Thing is, as well, I also want to see, I put the pressure up, we got a 310. I want to see, because at the moment, I know where the runs were on this, it was pretty much around the handle. So if that actually starts sagging on these areas here and here, okay. What we're also looking for, uh, which is interesting, just bear with me because I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm on fire tonight. Um, so this is the top. This is the yeah, top coat. Okay. Uh, okay. Does anybody know what that is? Welcome. Okay. No, it's a Ninja well, Death Star. You can right. go. And, you can go from martial arts shops. Right. <laughs> Liam Burns, he said. The best spraying builder I've ever seen. <laughs> wow. Okay. That's bringing out about 175 microns. I don't know what you're looking at. You can't see that with your glasses on, can you? Well, you can, okay. 175 microns, um, which is really good. So we'll see what it's like. See if it actually does a little bit of sagging before we finish the show. Uh, we've got PTA support after, so we've got a little bit of time to see what it does. Mm -hmm. So overall, that's that's a really yeah. on black. Yeah. Yeah. But it, it is as long as the fact that even with that on a 310, a little bit of pressure, um, and not. And if it doesn't run, as in like excessively, then yeah, I think I think that is really really good. And that's only to, that's top cut. You know, we've, we've yet to still bring primer into oh, the equation. Yeah, that's a builder's, that's a builder's <laughs> one coat, take the money, I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a builder's guarantee. I guarantee you won't find me when you've got a problem. It's a primary one, isn't it? <laughs> it's a primary one. Yeah, there you go, Ben, they've just, a builder's actually just labelled that as a one tin does everything. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Internal, external, under, underwater, everything. So, um, Can we just oh, say it's, it's not interior and exterior, it's no, interior it's, only. It's interior. To be honest with you, this is, um, first impressions are, this is for your kitchens and your furniture, okay? I think that's the key. 
but I know that we will be testing the 40 as an alternative to maybe 30. And we'll see the what Helmi it's like. 30, you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Instead, yeah. instead of Helmi 30, because Helmi 30 is your uh, one of our trim paints that we use, so we'll we'll try that so as well. So will that be more durable for the likes of staircases and stuff? Yeah, I think yep. Yeah, yep. I was thinking like staircases yeah. and stuff like that as well could be a lot more. Without durable. a doubt, but it depends if there's a massive sheen, because uh, 10% can be quite a lot. But you, we don't know what that is yet. Until yeah. we put it against 30, we don't know. The eight feels really silky. So, so Dan, it's still water-based. It's very um, purely water-based. It's not a hybrid. It's an alternative to Helmi. It's more of an enamel paint. It's more hard wearing. Sheen-wise, it's eight and 40. So obviously, instead of 10, 30 and 80. Um, but yeah, quicker drying times, quicker curing times as well. So seven days curing time over That'd be good for a kitchen. kind of 21 yeah, days yeah, for uh, Helmi. You, you can, okay, um, I got that bit. Daniel was saying that if you wanted to get a sheen that was kind of more like 30, 30, 30. yeah. If you do that, in my experience, what I found is, um, I know John Markov goes, oh, I've done. we did that years ago, but the point is, you can put the two together. We've had to do it in the past when we've had to match something. Bear in mind the matting agent of the lower sheen will always win over. So if you think you're gonna do 50-50, okay, to get something in between, you won't, okay? The matting agent will always win over. So what you're gonna to have to do is, it's, it's, in my experience, I've always found it better to add the matte to a gloss by increments. If you do 50-50, that you're not going to get what you want. It, it doesn't work that way. You've just got to mix enough, or you've, just, you've got just to make sure you know that the mixing ratios that you're you, playing you, with. You know, everything you do, you've got to you've got to calculate. You know, and and for me, I just hate the idea of running out of paint. I just order more. We were talking about this. You were talking about the fact that he ordered a palette to take advantage of the last the last Ticarillo. Uh, yeah. Offer that your Ben ran, mm. he, he literally just like ordered a ton of gear to save it. Shh. So this, yeah, so this is the new in, intact range from Tikarilla that will be available in a couple of weeks from all the all of their suppliers. That's the. I think they're trying to get that. the stock the stock up yeah. and everything else. Um, okay, so just a quick recap. You guys have obviously seen it on the board. You know, even now as it's drying, you've seen it on the tile. Okay, and you guys have actually just had a go at spraying it. Okay. I didn't mean like had a go, I mean like you've had a, had a go at spraying it. Yeah. Uh, and first impressions, uh, it, it's a good product. You, know, you, you like the feel of it, you like the potential of it. Um, are you going to get some, give it a go? Of course you are. Uh, we are. Try some, out. Try some just, out. Yeah, I think it's looking at the sheen levels as well, well isn't it? And yeah, there is, yeah, there's a teenage. Yeah. Thank you, Tommy. Brilliant. Ben, you might want to send some more because I've just cleared it out. No, seriously. All jokes apart, okay. Whatever's left in there, I'm going to give it, okay. Um, I'm going to take. A, I'm going to take opportunity of this. Yeah, I'm going to give you all the tin, and you can take it away and try it. So Ben, you're going to have to send me more. I'm sorry. It's just the way it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> To be honest with you, Ben, these guys, in my view, are they're ahead because they've put themselves out massively. You are very focused on your business. That means that you want really good products. You spend a lot of time with me trying to, I get inside your heads about testing products, understanding, getting the most out of your products, but actually being in a position that when you know it, you stand in front of your customer with such, I don't know, strength, credibility, that it, it allows you to a certain extent I'm not going to say charge a premium, but technically, yes, charge a premium because they're paying for that expertise. So if you've got these kind of paints, okay, what I'm going to get you to do is take them away, do it. You give me the feedback. We will correlate the feedback. So collectively, out of the, the, the five of us, okay, we'll come up with what we think. You're going to get more imagery, more video, and more feedback before this stuff goes to launch. If you're taking a tin, okay, I want feedback in at least one week, okay? Not necessarily next Thursday, because I'm not here, but if you, if you can't do the, if you can't play around with it within that time, just leave it here and I will, okay? But seriously, um, you've got a week to open the tin, give it a go, see what you think, take some video, give me some feedback, send it back to me, and then when we do a recap, okay, I'll do a separate video as a recap, 
Um, and we'll give you guys not just my opinion, which I think is fantastic. Uh, no, sorry. I don't think my, my, my opinion is fantastic, although it is. Um, it's really good to get the feedback from these guys as well. So we are lucky. Um, I am going to do that. I'm going to split it. You, there's going to be two tins of 40 going and two tins of oh, Tommy's one dribble. One in a bit. So, so we might have to get another little bit for Tommy. So I must have read, misread earlier, it can be brushed and rolled as well, which I thought was the idea behind it. Yeah, it does feel like it. I mean, yeah. it feels like it's a thicker product. That's the key as well. We'll see what that's like. That one, if it's dry enough. Which one? The white one. Give it a sand and see if it's dry enough. You reckon? Well, I'll try it. Honestly, she's always like this. You stick to your bit, I'll stick to mine. <laughs> do you not want to do any sanding? I don't, I don't, but seeing as Tommy messed it up, he can do it. Well, that's the thing we found with, um, with Acve, Acve sands really nicely. That's the eight, yeah. What's the sheen level like? Have you used Helmi 10? Yeah. It's just a bit of We'd have to put Helmi, we've got a Helmi 10 around somewhere, haven't we? We'll have to put Helmi 10 side by side to it. Okay, to be honest with you, um, because it's top cut, if it was primer, I'd be tempted to use 180. Okay. Act V Sands, I mean, is, have you all used Act V or some of you used Act V? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Act V Sands in a very peculiar way. I would say it powders down rather than anything, doesn't it? That's, that's one of the main qualities I like about it. Like I said, I'm a real fan of uh, Helmi Punjabi with naan bread, but... <laughs> Sagalo, apparently. Sagalo, Sagalo, get in. Okay, I do find that it's slightly harder to sand, but it just, it's got more flexibility. So it's a payoff for depending on what kind of project I'm running. I would say because this is top cut and we would obviously sand that ready for the next top cut. Okay, um, let's have a look. So I would say, let's start with 240, see what you think. Tommy, you're up. Okay, you're my bitch tonight. <laughs> What's that? That's what, an hour? Coming up to an hour, an hour and nearly half, two maybe. hours. What's it like on the sandpaper? Is it rolling? Is it sticky? Yeah, I mean, it's a little bit. Very little, but I mean, it's still firm. You happy with that? Yeah. Okay, fine. Someone else? Great. A live show about sanding wood. Yeah. This is fantastic. <laughs> you you can pay it? for this. When do you want to get the wood washing tape? You like your job now? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's, that's good. That's really good. That's good. Yeah. See, that's feeling more like uh, Acme. Yeah, yeah. Mm. That's feeling. Very Try the 180, see what you think. Let's see how, how, you know. How much you can push it. Yeah. It's all good enough. Come on, get in there. Let's see how good it is. Come on. He's not used to manual labour. Yeah, no, right, that's it, that's it, that's it. That's right. all Look, what we've got is, look, you can see all of the, the dust coming up. That feels tough. Yeah. <laughs> Burn through. Yeah, just it. You would expect it. it's Go 180. To the 180, yeah. yeah. Lee, give it a whiz. Oh, hang on. No, go on. However you want. See that? He tried to pretend to be a, a decorator. He got right down there and he just like, <laughs> you see it? Look, like, I'm on camera. I just let uh... yeah. Yeah. Tommy needs more sanding. Yeah, Tommy, you need to get that another cut. Yeah. So, um, it does, yeah. And to be honest with you, I wouldn't want to sand that. That's top cut. I wouldn't want to sand that so soon. Mm. Most products. But you wouldn't really want to sand the band any more than that. Either. How do you load it as well? So if you're doing like normal door, obviously it would dry quicker, wouldn't it? I, I just, I would, yeah. How for me, if you, do, if you sand it too early, we'll, we'll start to roll, won't That's it? what I was looking for on the, on the, on here, to see, like, it's, it's a little bit. A little bit wet, but. Yeah. yeah, it's still a little bit wet on there. Um, to be honest with you, it's kind of what I expected. Um, for me, even on, the, on this range, just the way that I kind of spray my work, especially kitchens, I wouldn't sand within the same day anyway. What's, I, what, what's the recoat time on this? Actually? Good question. I think it was, wasn't it recoating an hour? I think an it's hour? drying an hour, recoating three. Oh, okay. 
I think that's ben what Ben was saying. Seven. That'd be something like your recourt in three. But for me, I like it. I like it overnight. If it's a kitchen, I want it. I want it really. I like to. I like to spray everything. Uh, last thing in the day, do two, all the prep, all the cooking. Three hours. Yeah. So I like to. Ben, you can't do that. What? It's one or the other. It is, because if it's suddenly two hours and there's a problem. What, he said two to three? Hmm. Depends on the time of year. Yeah, well, yeah. Don't, don't get it started. To be fair, with anything like that, it does depend on the time of year, doesn't it? No. And the I, conditions. No, I understand. I, I, I get it. I just, you're it from... half half, so three. There you go. <laughs> Um, I just think from the supplier's perspective, and especially if you're chief of sales or sales director or, or, or top dog, you, you have to be careful what you say. Uh, I, know, I know most of us are really cool, but I know there's some of us that equally could be, could be awkward with it. Um, so I think you just, reps and suppliers and, and sales and everything. What's Ben saying? Two hours and 43 minutes isn't quite the right answer, is it? Is he playing silly buggers? <laughs> Honestly, he's playing silly buggers now. Um, bottom line is, okay, intact range. We've got the, we've got the 40 and the 8. These guys are going to take some of, a, some of it away with them. Uh, they're going to do some testing. They're going to come back with some video and results within, within a week. I'll give them a week to come back with some information. Then what we'll do is we'll have more idea of independent views that fits within your business. Uh, even if it's just on bits of MDF or it's just on something that you want to do or you've got a job that you fancied doing, if it is a job, brilliant. Uh, we'll have a discussion who wants what. If someone's got, let's say, some fitted furniture, take the eight. If someone's got, let's say, some skirtings and doors within a job that they want to try, then take the 40. It's not a fight. Don't, don't start all quibbling over, I want that one. <laughs> um, bottom line is, that, uh, these guys have been here, what, 12 hours now. You were here at 8 o'clock this morning. Yeah, it's been a busy old day. We've, we've given this a run. We've, we like it. First impressions are really, really good. We'll give that one another, oh, another oh, coat oh, as well. Has it sagged at all, Lee? Well, you'd said that's your door. <laughs> <laughs> if it's sagged, it's Tommy's fault. That's right. Um, to be honest with you, give it a touch. No, that's previous. Okay. It is previous. I thought it might be. If it hasn't sagged anywhere else, there's no way it would sag in just a place like that. Um, yeah, I think what Lindsay said, before we finish tonight, I've got PTA support to do. Uh, before I leave, I might give it a second cut, so when I come back, I can actually really see what it's like. Yeah, and then we'll have a look at it in, an, in a week and see how hard Yeah, fair point, because we, we're not here doing any of the... The other no, stuff, so. so we can see what it's like. And bearing in mind that we've just sprayed that off both of these with no primer, haven't we? Unless what was under it was the primer. No, it wasn't. It was just top coat. Right. Okay, it was modern emulsion. Okay. So um, that'd be interesting. No, modern eggshell. Sorry, modern eggshell. What um, we, have we got? Another prize? Second no, prize? So the two, the two bundles. Ben's done the question. Oh, okay, fair enough. Oh yeah, he did. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll run through the. Um, I'll run through the answers to the questions, so bundles one and bundle two, and then who, I'll tag whoever won it, whoever answered the question right, and then Ben will organise sending the prizes out to everybody. Fine, okay. So competitions wise, we've, I've had a look around the moment, I can only see he's got the, the trade decorator competition, which obviously has just run over to July's one, which is um, three bundles, I think, of Zinsa products. So I think each bundle, I didn't read it properly, but each bundle it includes like bin, one, two, three, cover stain, one of them. So Either way, Paula does some, she does some good ones. She does. Cool. Exactly. So right, any final questions for Ben? Um, any final questions for us? We're more than happy to field them. Keep the comments coming and we will field those questions throughout the course of the next weeks. Yeah. Um, and again, if you, if anybody, I mean, I think there are a few people that have the product to test. Any feedback, obviously, let us let us know as well. Yeah, throw it up on spray and make sense. Speak to Ben first before you start plasting all your stuff. Yeah. Uh, it's just very good from, again, we've been doing marketing, so you see the strength in the fact that correlation of getting good information. Uh, timing is really important to make sure that, obviously, all the 
the good marketing comes out at the same time, the feedback is right, its integrity is there. So it's not about giving it to, let's say, the suppliers, Ben and everything, him just taking the good bits. It's just a case of he's got his own marketing that he wants to run, so we want to make sure that the information that goes out. This is a lot of stuff we've been talking about today, your timing and how you actually schedule in, obviously, your marketing and your social media. So that's equally just important because I'm not being funny. If you do it and you do this stuff, make sure that you obviously do blogs and bits about it because when this starts getting traction and talking, where does that information go? It's all really important. So have so we had a good... Sorry, Lynn. No, that's one, Karen. Uh, no, you do your bit and then I'm signing off. Well, no, what I was going to say was we didn't, do, didn't run the new intro, so we'll run it as an outro instead. Okay, we'll run it as an outro. That's cool. Yeah, we can do that. Okay, um, a massive thanks to you guys for making the, the time and the effort to come down. Uh, thank you very much for braving this side of the camera. Uh, it, it's great, I love it. I mean, it, this thing is just getting better and better and better. So, uh, yeah, I, lo I love my job. It's absolutely fantastic. Uh, it's a big thank you and a great week to you guys. And sign out, guys. Thank you. Good. 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 Good.